Hi, my name is Tamara, and you are watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Welcome! I'm so glad to have you here today, and thank you for watching. So, as you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I am not a professional anything except artist, but I have figured out that there's a lot of stuff around the house and out in the yard and on my cars that I can do that saves me a lot of money and aggravation, often, and now I hope that it will save you the same. So today, we are going to be looking at a specific type of threshold, and we are going to be learning how to adjust it. It is actually fun and it'll make a huge difference in the drafts coming under your doors. So we're on the inside looking out of these doors that I had the most trouble with and that I have the most opportunity to show you how to uh, perhaps improve your own. So do you see that light down there at the bottom? That is not something we want to see. That is daylight coming in from the outside. And if light can get in, guess what else can get in? Bugs, air. I guess bugs and air can also get out, but mostly they seem to come in. So what we're going to need today is pretty simple. We need an adjustable threshold and we're going to need a driver or uh, if you don't have a driver, a drill with a screwdriver bit in it. So for the sake of giving you the correct terminology for these so that whenever, if you go in to buy one or you know, you're looking online, whatever, uh, you know what you're, what you're actually looking for, the part of this conglomeration here that sits under the door, that sits on the floor, is called the sill, so it's a door sill. And the part that actually sits directly under the door, this wooden piece right here, is called the threshold. Now. I had to replace some of the thresholds in this house because the others were, well, non-existent in some cases actually. And because we have brick and some other unusual flooring, uh, things are not exactly level. Actually, I would love to see a house that everything is totally level and that would make me so happy. But it would have, I decided that it would really help me if I installed an adjustable threshold. So you have about a quarter inch of height adjustment uh, in this threshold, which means that this end can be higher than this end. Yay! This has been such a huge help for me. Hey there, this is such a totally awkward way to film this, but I really want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So as you can see, you've got this little space of light right here. And again, wherever there's a screw on these thresholds, you can adjust it up and down. So it is awesome. So I'm gonna open my door and my light leak, which means air leak, is right here on the screw. So I'm just gonna loosen it, which will bring the board up, which will bring it closer to the door. Now that was quite a bit. So I don't actually know how much it needs to come up. That did not do it. So let's bring it up again. This one is pretty high, I think. Yeah, so we wanna get it high enough that it closes that air leak and we don't see any more light here but we don't want it so high that it causes a problem with us opening and closing the door so let's say just for fun i'm gonna make it a little bit higher yeah see now uh the door sweep kind of sticks on it so we do not want that to happen so that's a little bit too high there's a there's a happy medium in here I think we might have gotten it. Let's turn off the light. That's the best way to see. Yep, I don't see any light coming through there, do you? So that means it is now sealed. So was that not one of the most incredibly easy fixes that we've done here? I'll just tell you, if you have the opportunity to replace a threshold, or rather you need to replace one, and you want one that's gonna make your life easier, I would definitely get 
a door sill with an adjustable threshold because if you have an uneven door or uneven floor or like one of my sets of doors that uh, was actually wavy on the bottom because somebody cut them rather poorly. I've, I've since recut them. But in the meantime, it was really nice to have a threshold that I could uh, make wavy also so that I didn't have big air leaks underneath those doors. So that is all the door fun that I have for you today, but I look forward to bringing you more in the future. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you again soon.